The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? Or how have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt, from the place of slavery I released you, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God Most High? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have been told, O oh man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right, to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I shall show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Some of the Pharisees, scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of the Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. But there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So first, Jesus rebukes the scribes and the Pharisees, and he calls them evil, and an evil generation because they seek signs. You know, they don't want to come with faith. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. How many people today? Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Let's look for the signs. The world's going to end. Everything's going to happen. They've been doing that for 2,000 years. Just stop it. There is no sign except that Jesus Christ has rose from the dead and he's going to come and take us home one day. That's the sign. Now get over all these other signs you're looking for because it's an evil and unfaithful generation that does this. And it's happening today. Now we go to the Old Testament from Micah. And Micah, God is, you know, that we use this for Lent. Oh, my people, what have I done for it to you? You know, why have I, why, how have I wearied you? Answer me. And then they recognize their wickedness and they say, how am I going to 
repent from this. How am I going to pay to God for this wickedness? Should I give fat calves? Maybe I should offer my firstborn. It's all Pelagianism, of course, rehash before it even truly began. But God said, this is what's required. I have told you what I want of you. And here the translation says, only to do the right, to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. Almost every other translation says this, justice, mercy, humility. Seek justice, love mercy, walk humbly with your God. So this is what God says to us, just as he said to them. God wants us to be people who do justice, meaning, as we talked about yesterday, that we give everyone what is due to them. But we love mercy, that even though people are doomed for punishment and justice's sake, we can also give mercy if someone repents. And then humility. We walk humbly with God, not separated from God, but walk humbly with your God. That God wants to be with us and for us to walk with him in humility. So today, God tells us what's required of us. Very simple. We work for justice, we love mercy, and we walk humbly with God. This is what God asks. Let's do it. May Trino is love today and forever. Amen.